This is so messy. Um, hello everyone, it has been a while since I filmed a video, a month to be exact, and as you can tell, I have a very big haul. Um, basically, I went to the Philippines and Korea for the last parts of my summer, so I enjoyed my time and clearly I bought way too much stuff. Just to talk about it real quick, um, I actually have a cold. No, I do not have COVID. I've tested myself three times now. Um, I'm still going to be testing myself until I feel better, but it is not COVID, at least for now. <laughs> Fingers crossed it's not COVID. Um, I think the weather of Korea and Philippines finally caught up with me because when I went to both countries, it was raining like crazy, but also really humid, and I was going in and out of AC and like going into the hot air and then also kind of just experiencing rain so I think my body slowly caught up and the fact that I went on three oh no wait I went on about eight planes this whole month basically so I was very much very much kind of just very tired and I like stayed up the last few days so I'm very tired so that is why I sound really stuffy. I feel like I sound stuffy. I really can't hear myself still, too. Um, I can hear myself, but it's not as much. So I do apologize if I'm a little too loud or something like that. So yeah, um, I posted on Instagram whether I should do a haul or not, and a lot of people wanted to see my haul. So <laughs> uh, I'm going to kind of organize and figure out what we're going to do. I am going to do the albums. Should I do the albums first or last? I'll, I'll do Hybe stuff first, things I bought at Hybe, which involve the albums, then go into the albums, and then go into more of the collecting stuff, because I feel like nobody really cares. <coughs> and also the non-collecting stuff, because I do have some. So yeah, let me organize this, and then I'll come back. Also, uh, I want to point out, I'm sorry if the angle is a little weird. I'm actually on my floor right now with a white background. Um, my desk right now is one messy, and then also... I have a monitor stand now, so I don't really know how I'm going to film videos with my monitor stand. But I am still going to try, maybe in the future, just right, not right now. This is a lot of stuff, so it also didn't fit on my desk. So yeah, let us get started here. So first I went to Hybe, and I can't show the back of this because it actually has my name. But I did get three, so I went two days, one day with my dad. And then one day with my aunt, uh, my aunt is an army, so she wanted to keep her card. But I was able to get Namjoon's, Hisong, and Jihoon's, which are my top three in Hybe anyway. So I'm very excited. So I do have their tickets. And it was such a fun and surreal experience. I really enjoyed it, and it was, it was, it was a great time. Um, and then there, I had bought these two. Oh my gosh. Um, unfortunately, when I went, Jack in the Box was sold out, as well as Sector 17, so I wasn't able to get Sector 17 or Jack in the Box in the store itself, like, in the Weaver's shop, but I did get them at, like, a local K-pop store. But anyways, I had first gotten the PTD photo cards, which I feel like everybody has. Why can't I open this? What is happening to me? Um, so I'm just gonna quickly go through it, but I feel like everybody knows how these look like now. But they're literally so pretty. I kind of wish I got the second set, but these are fairly expensive compared to the albums. So I wasn't really wanting to spend like $20, another $20 on these. So but I did get my favorite set, which is this one. And then for the postcards, um, I really wanted to display these on my wall. So I got them. And it is the James Dean one. I'm going to see if I can find a video online because I don't really feel like opening it right now. Um, but, or like a photo, and I'll put it up. But these are really pretty and I wanted to put them on my wall or put them somewhere. I feel like I wanted that type of memorabilia. And then there I did buy a bunch of an hyphen albums because literally an hyphen was the only group that was like in stock that I didn't have albums for. So I did get um, Manifesto Day 1. And I did get Sunghoon, but I'm selling it to J to the Imin. Um, but I did finally pull Hisong. Um, basically, on the first day, I bought three albums, which is the three versions. And I had pulled J, Sunu, and then also Sunghoon, which, like I said, I'm selling to J to the Imin. 
for Melanie. So I pulled them. And then the last day I was in Korea, I went back to Hybe with my aunt. And I was like, I'm going to buy one more album. And I'm so thankful that I did because I pulled Hong. So there's no need to trade. Um, he looks really pretty. I love him. Um, but yeah, I was so excited that I finally pulled it. And then I did get the Weverse version at some store <laughs> in Korea as well as the Engine version. Um, I don't remember the store name. I don't even think that the store had a name. Like, I just, I don't know. It was my uncle's favorite place to go though because he's also really into K-pop and his wife is too. It's really funny. But I also got these, so I'll open them in a bit. But I will show my pulls for the um, Manifest of Day 1 which these were bought at Weverse. So I pulled Nikki and Sunghoon. Um, by the way, I am only collecting the selfie cards for Hisung, so I most likely will be selling the concept cards, um, and these will be traded to Hisung. I'm not sure if by the time I film this, or by the time this video is up, if it's going to be up for sale or not, but just know that is what I'm doing. Because I only collect selfie cards for Hisung, because the concept cards I only collect for Namjoon. Um, and then I pulled Jay and Nikki. I have Nikki luck, <laughs> apparently. And Sunu luck. I have Makhnu line luck, I guess. Um, and then also Jake and Jay. And also Jay luck. <laughs> but very cute. And then that is... Oh, I did buy other albums. Um, I guess I'll open the albums I got at Hive. So I did get this Dimension Dilemma, uh, I don't, it's the Scylla version, Scylla, Scylla, Scylla version, whatever, I don't really know how to say it, and I did pull Sunu, that's why I'm saying I have Sunu look, I pulled Sunu and I do kind of want to get Hisung, but I don't trade internationally, so I feel like it's going to be pretty hard for me to get Hisung through like US seller, US sellers, um, but we will have to see. I'm gonna try my best, but I did get Sunu. And then for the album PC, which I was so surprised, but I had gotten. I got Jungwon, which this is my first Jungwon, and I might keep it because I'm very excited. I never pulled Jungwon, which kind of makes me sad because Jungwon is one of my other top biases in, I in Hyphen. I really like his voice. And I also pulled Heesung, which is the last Heesung PC I needed to complete his collection. So I'm very happy that I pulled it. So I'm very happy I impulsively bought this album. Like, I quite literally just grabbed it right before we were about to leave. And I was like, wait, let me buy this. So, very excited that I pulled Heesung. And then I think that is all the albums I bought at Hive. Oh, also, I didn't point out, you get free bags at Hive at least the time when we went. Because I think they sold out. <clears throat> so we were able to get some and... The first day I was gray, and then the second day I was green. So, very happy to have these bags. And then the rest now are just albums, PCs, or like, sorry, albums that I bought at the local K-pop stores there. So, yeah. <clears throat> so, let's do the in hyphen stuff first. So, for Weaver's version, um, this one is how it looks, and it's really cute. I already scanned the Weaver's album, so I don't think I need to hide it, but, yeah. So for that one, I had pulled, I'm trying to, like, hide it from you guys. So, I had pulled, obviously, the group card, which is the QR code, and then I pulled Jake and Heesung, who are actually my biases in an hyphen. So, I'm very excited, I am going to be keeping Jake and trying to find Heesung, up for sale so if you guys have he songs for sale hit me up but very happy about that and then here, let me like see if i can just spread this out a little bit and then for dimension dilemma essential version i randomly also found this um and as you can tell i had pulled he song which i didn't know this is like a one in like 21 chance basically of like getting him because I thought that there were like different versions like the uh, like the dimension dilemma with like <clears throat> Odysseus and like Sc Scylla Sc I don't know but you know what I mean I didn't know they were all in together in this one like version so I understand why they're so expensive now and yeah I was not expecting to pull him but I pulled him 
Um, and then I also, let's see if I can pull the group card. Um, and then the group card, which I think from my understanding is also random, I actually pulled the corresponding concept. So I was very, very pleased <clears throat> about the fact that I randomly bought this album and was able to pull quite literally my favorite he sung of all time and yeah also i'm noticing that there's like brown there sorry but i was very pleased to pull this so yeah i notice i pull he sung whenever it comes to like stuff that would be harder to find his stuff and i like pull him i don't know and then for the carrot version or not carrot what the heck the <laughs> engine version you do get a poster and i had pulled also these all came in bigger inclusions but i did give them away to my cousins and then i also just have them in like a pile in my room i don't really feel like sorting them and going through them because i quite literally cannot be bothered but for these ones i had pulled sanu and sunghoon so yeah i am still missing two versions of the engine version i will eventually try to get those but yeah, so those were my hyphen poles basically. And then I did buy a oh, I don't know where that PC went. Uh I had bought a Thursday Child album at Hybe, but then for the Hybe Insight I pulled Bumgyu and then the album itself I gave to my cousin because she's a MOA and she really likes Bumgyu, so I just gave it to her because I didn't really mind. And actually I decided to keep the pull, which was Subin. So, I'm very happy. I always have Subin luck, I swear, and Bumgyu luck, so I was very excited to pull this Subin. I do kind of wish I got the other versions for it, because I love Subin in the other ones, but it's okay. And then, my cousin was so sweet enough to give me this uh, Weaver's pre-order benefit of um, Subin, and I almost cried when she gave it to me, I won't lie. It's one of my favorite cards. I was planning on making a fake of it, because he just looks so, so cute. I love Subin. I really wish I had the funds to collect Subin, but collecting any more Hive members, I might cry because my wallet is <laughs> my wallet is actively suffering. But that is that. And then while we're still on Hive groups, I got the last Love Yourself series that I needed um, for the Love Yourself Her series. This is the L version, and I had pulled Jin. Which I am planning on just keeping because this Fifi is actually matte, which I don't know why. And also the backs look really fake because of how, like, how much ink was, like, used for this. So this does feel fake to me, but I don't know if it is or not. You guys should let me know if it's, like, a new version or whatever. I did buy this in Korea, so I don't know. But I did pull Jin. Um... And yeah, so I finished the Love Yourself Her series that I have for BTS. Now we're going to finally start working on Tear album because I finally finished. That's that. And then, oh, I also bought an Itzy album. But for Itzy, I had pulled my best friend's biases, so I just gave it to her. And I bought Yeji's version, so... She looks so gorgeous. I love Yeji so much. But yeah, I didn't pull any of Yeji, so I'm going to have to buy her PCs because I pulled my best friend's biases and I wanted to give it to her as, you know, as one does. And then for the last ones, the 80s albums I bought for my friend. And then I have Stereotype and Gigi Land. It was very unfortunate, but I wasn't able to buy uh, St uh, Stacy's album yet because I had planned going back that k-pop store and buying more but it started raining like raining raining and i didn't want the albums to get damaged and i also didn't want to do the like walk over so <laughs> because of that i wasn't able to buy it i had more intentions of buying more um purple kiss and stacy albums because obviously it was a lot cheaper in korea and i didn't want to buy them but i couldn't do it because of the rain so it's very upsetting but for Geeky Land, I did get their, pre uh, their photo book, and I was very excited because I had pulled Gohan and the Swan, which I am planning on um, collecting OT7 Purple Kiss once again. You'll see why in the binders that I bought, but I did buy a bunch of binders, and I'm so excited and so happy because the Swan is one of my favorite PCs of all time. So, very happy to be pulling these. And then... 
for Stacy, I bought the Stereotype album, and this one was the last one, so I didn't even get to choose which, like, concept I really wanted, but I had pulled, dun dun dun, dun. I pulled Princess Isa, or Isa, um, which I was so excited about, because I love Isa so much, I think she's one of the prettiest people, or is he? Yeah, I think it's Isa. She's one of the prettiest people and like her voice is so amazing and Stacy has like such an amazing like group. Like they're just so talented and so I was very excited to pull this card because I know like how hard it is to get and also like I could never collect Isa even though I do desperately want to with um Suman and then I did pull Seun. <clears throat> believe this is Seun, right? Is that oh my gosh. I believe that's how you say her name. Is it Seung? Is it Seung? Sorry, Stacy's names are so hard because there's so many S's, but I can never, like, pronounce them correctly. Let me know if I'm wrong. But I believe... Suman? No, there's Suman, Seun, and Seung, I think? I don't... Let me know how you guys pronounce it because I am fucking up their names. But I did get these, and then... I got Suman's little uh, Polaroid, I think that's what it is, but <coughs> yeah. Also, my voice is slowly dying, so I do apologize, <laughs> but we are almost down to it, and then I'm going to take a break, so my friend had asked me to get her some 80s PC or albums because it was pretty cheap in Korea, so um, I'm now realizing if I ever buy 80s albums, I have to buy them because... I had pulled a lot of Songha and then also this God Tier Yo song, which I'm actually keeping to for myself. <laughs> um, I literally told my friend I'm holding it hostage and it's mine. And then I also got this Hong Yoon ID. I'm forgetting one album. Okay, hold on. We're almost done. Um, and then for the other 80s album, which I obviously don't know these names. I had pulled my friend's biases, <coughs> which is Mingi, Songha, and San. So, very happy for her because she was so excited. And then I also forgot I got Jack in the Box, but it got covered. So I did get two Jack in the Box, and they're the same pulls. And I'm giving it, I'm giving this blue one to my friend who got the ATs album. So I can only open the purple one, but they're the same pulls anyway, so it doesn't matter. And we had pulled my two favorite photo cards, <coughs> which are these two. And I think he looks so handsome. I really wish I can get at least one copy of Jungkook's because it sold out and I was not aware that it was going to drop because I was not used to the Philippine time of everything. So yeah, I do hope I can get Jung, uh, Jung, Jungkook's at one point. But yeah, so that is all the albums I got in Korea. I'm going to take a small break. If you guys can't tell, my voice is dying and I literally cannot hear myself and I'm struggling. So we're going to take a quick break and then I'll show you guys the photo card or like the, the binders that I got basically. And then also the other non-K-pop things. I won't lie, during my break I was pretty dumb and I ate ice cream. <laughs> so I don't know if I sound better, but if I do, it's the ice cream. Anyways, so now I'm going to show you guys what I got. Um... For binders, I went to Kyobo Bookstore, I think that's what it's called, and I got a lot of things. So for one, I I got the Beyond D binder. Um, also, I'm super sorry. I'm there's going to be a lot of crinkling noises. I'm gonna try my best, but I got the Beyond D binder. And in case you guys don't know, I actually used the fake ones for the longest time, and I'm now realizing how different the quality is with the fake ones and so yeah let me open this up actually but yeah so i finally got a beyond d binder and i am thinking about upsizing a collection of mine so i can use this binder but we will have to see how i feel in the future uh let me we'll see but and then i also got the six pocket one so let me open this also, this binder, oh my gosh, it's not in focus. I want to point out that this binder did not have any um, pages in it. 
I had to buy them, but I had to put them in because I didn't have space for them in my suitcase. But I did get these six pocket binders, and I'm so excited to finally have these. Also, sorry for the lighting. It's terrible. I don't know what's going on, but yeah. So I'm super happy to ha finally have these. And then I was very excited to find the Luca Lab composition book. Um, I finally got my hands on one of these, and I kind of regret not getting another one because... I talked myself out of it and I should have freaking just bought it but yeah I'm so excited to have this um, I'm probably going to try to figure out how I can buy another one because I'm so happy with this one I really like these compared to the Beyond D ones but I do like the Beyond D ones so I'm conflicted clearly I did get another Beyond D binder it is the two pocket one um, and yeah I'm so excited to put in my collections in here so I did get this one I also have another one coming from my friend Amanda she was sweet enough to get me the last two because the two that I really wanted were not in stock when I went and then when she went they were in stock so she bought them for me which I thought was super kind and so I got that and I have two more on the way which is nice and then these are for my friends so I won't actually open them so you're gonna have to hear a lot of crinkling noises but I got these from Daiso in Korea. They're just little collect books. They're really cute. This one's a two pocket one and this is how it looks. It also had this design which is a cat but my friend wanted the bear. And then there's this red one and then it's all one pocket. And yeah so my friend really really wanted these so I got them for her. And I think that is everything for the binders. Yes. I feel like I just bought more because of the fillers, but that is all for the binders. And then for non-K-pop things, which I don't know if anybody really cares to see, so I'm gonna move these to the side. Basically, I got these figurines from the Kyobo bookstore still, and they're so fucking cute. I'm literally so obsessed, and I kind of wish I got more. I'm going to say that a lot. I did not go with him as I should have in these stores in Korea. I really should have went crazy, but I didn't have enough luggage space for it, and I'm very upset, but it's okay. At least next time I go, I know what to bring. I'll bring a big-ass luggage next time and go crazy. And then I did buy these two little planners. So I actually really like this planner. This is how it looks like. It's a study note on there, and it's like a little um, checklist where you can write down what it is, and then, you know, put the date maybe, and then you can also put the timetable and then like the date and stuff and I feel like it's just a really pretty way of me <laughs> writing down everything I need so oh sorry so I got that and then I also got this weekly planner from the BT21 store when I went to the BT21 store unfortunately the BT21 oh sorry when I went to the line friend store the BT21 section was pretty limited so I was only able to <laughs> find this and it's just like a little planner, which I'm very excited to be using because I have a lot of classes to sim, so very excited. And then I think, oh yeah, I'll just mention it. My, one of my cousins uh, plays Genshin with me and he decided to give me his matching slime little plushie and it makes noise. <laughs> but he gave me this, which I thought was really sweet of him, so... I got that. I also got a present from my cousin, but it has my real name, so I can't really show it. Sorry. <laughs> but, yeah. And then I also got... This box is fucked up. But I did get this mouse pad. It was so fucking cute, and it's from the Lion store. And this is how it looks. It's literally the cutest fucking thing in the world, and I absolutely am in love with it. It is the best thing that like, has ever happened to me. And it made my luggage very heavy, I will say that. But I do love and adore this so, so much. <clears throat> and I think that's it. Oh, actually, I lied. I do have one more thing. I did get this bag from Daiso. It's really cute, but unfortunately, because the day I got it, I started using it. And it was raining, I did stain it. But I'm hoping that if I wash it, it'll come off. But yeah, it's a really cute bag. <laughs> it's, like, really cute. And I was so happy I found it because I've been looking for bags like this forever. And I was eyeing one on YesStyle, but it was always sold out. So I'm very happy I was able to secure it. But I think that is it. 
That's everything I bought. My room is a mess right now, but... Oh, actually, wait, one more thing. One, one, one more thing, I swear. I kind of forgot about it because I started using it, but my other cousins decided to pitch in and get me these <laughs> really cute slides that I've been using for my house and they're so fucking cute! I love cats and I love the color red so this is everything me. I also really like white so this is like the perfect um, slide for me and I'm so happy I found it. It's so fucking cute but yeah so that's officially everything I bought from Korea. I am or from Korea and the Philippines basically but I am so excited to be back and to be filming videos I'm going to be doing some sorting photo cards in the future um, maybe not next week because my school starts I don't know when this video is going up actually but my school starts literally in two days so it might not be for a little bit but I do have a lot of photo cards to put away as you guys can tell and I have a lot of organizing and sorting and things to do so we are 100% going to be doing that. But yeah, so that is everything for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Um, yeah, that's it. <laughs> Anyways, I'll see you guys next time. Bye!